So what even is Fancy Zones? It's an application which allows you to split your screen into lots of different zones so you can have as many applications as you want open at the same time. And shh, don't tell anybody. It's 100% free. Oh. So what I want to do in this video is show you how it can be used on a multitude of different monitors, deep dive into the settings and help you set it up for yourself. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how I've got Fancy Zone set up on my computer. I've set up a camera behind me. You can see it just there. Or just there. And I'm also screen recording just so you can see exactly how this works. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Power Toys and I'm going to jump straight to Fancy Zones. There's lots of other really cool little features within Power Toys, but I've not used them. The one I use is Fancy Zones. So let me launch the editor. So they have updated this recently. It looks a lot better than it did before, um, but it seems to work almost identically. There are a few little tweaks. Uh, so with templates, you've got no layout. Absolutely pointless. I don't know why they've included that. Uh, focus mode, which stacks lots of different applications on one another. Columns, rows, grid, and priority layout. Priority layout is what I used in my last video, but in this video, I really want to show you how this could work with any kind of monitor that you're using. It doesn't have to be a super wide monitor. It doesn't have to be a 50 inch TV like I, what I'm using. It could be any monitor and it will improve your workflow. So at the moment we're on custom and I want to show you how this works. As you can see, I've separated my screen out into six different sections. I'm just going to load up a load of different apps into here to show you how this works. So I've just loaded up Spotify, and if I drag it around the screen, you see that it will highlight the different sections of that screen for me. So if I drop it into section one, it will snap to that position and leave a little bit of a gap between itself and the next app that I'm gonna put in. So I do quite a lot of gaming, so I'm gonna open up Discord. So now if I drag that around the screen, you can see the same thing happens. But if I hold Shift and I drop it wherever I want, those zones don't come into effect. So Discord doesn't need that much space, so I'm just going to pop it up in that corner. So I'm actually recording this feed on the Elgato 4K gaming capture utility, so I'm going to drag that into there, and then you can see me there as well. So whilst I'm at my computer, nine times out of ten, I'm watching a YouTube video. So I'm going to bring up the YouTube player up here, a little bit of unbox therapy, can't go wrong with that. Um, so we've two, still got two spaces to fill. Say for example I was streaming a game that I was playing, I could be on Twitch and I could drag that window down into Windows 6. And lastly I'm going to open up Call of Duty Warzone and you can see on my monitor how it's stretched across the whole thing. Sometimes this is how I like to play my games, but in this instance it's not perfect. So let's try and drag this game into one of these zones. So zone 4 is where we're aiming for and it works perfectly. I mean, it's not ideal, it could, be, it could do with being a bit bigger, but on a screen this size, it's probably the equivalent of a 24 inch monitor, so it's not bad at all. So now I can jump into a game, I can see my webcam feed, I can listen to some music if I want to, I can watch a YouTube video, I can make sure my Discord settings are right and talk to my friends, and I can also watch my stream live on Twitch or follow the comments section. And if you had a super wide monitor, then you can just remove these top three and then you have the equivalent of a super wide monitor. It is worth saying that any game you're playing has to be in windowed mode, not borderless mode, not full screen. It has to be in windowed mode for this to work. I apologize, you are gonna lose a couple of pixels, but it's still a much better system. So let's jump back into Power Toys. Okay, so we're back in the settings and I'm going to create a new layout and we're just going to call this custom layout one. And when this launches, you can already see you've got three different sections and this horizontal bar is indicating that it's going to split the screen at that point. So I'm going to split the screen right in the middle, maybe a little bit higher, just like that. And then I'm going to drag these two lines out a little bit. 
You can see how easy this is and it really does make a huge difference. So I always try and have my main section, my bottom middle section as a roughly a 16 by nine aspect ratio and you can get that absolutely bang on if you want to, but for me, that's good enough. You can see that in these larger landscape sections, I can add more vertical lines if I want. I can split the screen there if I want to. So I've got basically dual monitors in the middle instead of a single monitor. And if I work my way down this more portrait section, then I can split this into multiple sections as well. I'm just gonna add one final separator here. If you want to separate it out vertically in this section, you just hold shift and then the separator will change orientation. Same with this, same on anywhere on the entire screen. Let's add one there as well. And then when that one's grayed out, you know that that one is the one you've selected. If I wanted to go back to the other one, I just click the other one. And you can see which one is selected by the lines in the background. So we're just gonna close out of this for a second. I'm gonna pop the fancy zone settings up there and let's populate this with a load of different applications. And I've just come across a problem. My 4K capture utility won't fit in that section. It's a little bit too small. So what I'm gonna do is pop it over there and again, it's not quite fitting. So you do often come across these problems where applications just aren't designed to fit in a space that small, but it's not really a problem for us. So that space at the top works well for that. So this may look a little bit chaotic, but it works really well. And if you were sat here resizing every single one of these windows and then you minimized it or you closed it and you wanted to reopen it, God, it would take a long time. This really does save a lot of time and frustration when working on a bigger monitor. And this isn't really the way this is designed to work. I'm just showing you so you get the idea of the potential of this piece of software. One of the main questions that I get asked all the time is how do I use these settings on multiple monitors? Like, how do, how do I make these settings up here affect a different monitor? Well, the answer is really simple. You just drag these settings over onto the monitor that you want it to affect. I hope that makes sense. So the settings panel, this settings panel has to be on whatever monitor you're hoping to affect with those settings. You often see stockbrokers with like four screens or six screens. Take a look at this. I can fit on so much information onto one screen, so many different charts. I can track the price of loads of different things just with one screen and they're all in their own little fancy zone. How cool is that? I'm not a stockbroker by any means, so don't judge what I've clicked on. I've, I've got no idea. I just clicked on some charts. So hopefully now you understand how Fancy Zones works a little bit better and the sky really is the limit. You could have 50 different zones on your computer, although I don't think that would work very well. But if you have a big monitor, if you've got an ultra wide monitor or like me, you're using a TV as a monitor, then Fancy Zones really is the way forward. Download it and have a play. There's a link in the video description. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again really soon.